paleontologist who works out, you're like Indiana Jones. <laughs> in the bustling world of Central Burke, nestled within the heart of Friends, lies a plot hole so glaring it becomes a character of its own. Season 6 gifted us with a moment of sheer brilliance from Joey, who with a single line shined a spotlight on the show's most persistent inconsistency. But hey, in my defense, I, I just found out that condoms are only like 97% effective. What? <laughs> they should put that on the box! You're all hanging around here at 11.30 a.m. on a Wednesday, he exclaims. A moment that not only breaks a fourth wall, but winks at the audience, acknowledging the elephant in the room. That's great, but shouldn't you be on a toilet right now? How could our beloved group of friends afford to lounge around in a coffee shop in the middle of a workday? Well, let's break it down right here on Screen Rant. This clever nod to the fans highlights the show's playful dance with reality, where job schedules and adult responsibilities take a backseat to the chemistry and camaraderie of the main cast. Repeat after me. Je m'appelle Claude. Je de coupe plow. <laughs> it's a world where the impossible becomes possible, where six friends can always find the best spot on the couch, regardless of the time of day. Friends thrive in the suspension of disbelief, inviting viewers to embrace the absurdity and focus on the relationships that define the series. But Joey's observation isn't the only time Friends playfully acknowledges its own narrative shortcuts. Remember the mysterious disappearance of the chick and the duck? Or the ever-changing ages and birthdays of the gang? Why, God, why? <laughs> These potholes, while noticeable, never detract from the essence of Friends. Instead, they serve as reminders of the show's willingness to bend reality for the sake of humor at heart. As we reflect on these moments, it's clear that Friends was never about meticulous continuity or airtight storytelling. It was about the laughter, the tears, and the unforgettable moments shared between six friends navigating life together. So, the next time you find yourself questioning the plausibility of their endless coffee dates, remember Joey's words and the show's unspoken pact with its audience to prioritize friendships above all else. After all, isn't that what friends is truly about?